Hey guys, this is Locke. This video is going to talk about Aerith's AI and if it's bugged uh, or if it's not and how does it work and how I can get it to kind of do what I want it to do. So uh, first of all, I'm going to start by saying that I already knew this was going to happen. Like I, If you look at my reviews on Aerith, I already told you that she's going to be fantastic for manual play and she's going to suck for autoplay just because of all the skills that she has and her AI and you have to like do a lot of crazy stuff to get it, her to walk, work like you want her to. So first of all, let me explain what's happening. Now on this account, I don't have Aerith, so I'm going to use Yuna as a substitute to talk about her. So let me uh, get into a battle here and I will show you... Well, let me explain why it's happening. Um, I'm just going to get into this battle because it's easier to explain. So assume that Yuna is Aerith and then you have anyone else you want like Cloud. And so the battle is going to start. Um, So I am going to, uh, yes, okay, so Yuna, okay. So assume Yuna started here, right? Uh, or actually, like, uh, let's just assume that she is three spaces away from uh, Cloud when she starts. So she starts in this position, and as soon as she starts, she is going to use one of her skills, like one of her TP skills, because that's what she does. Uh, Yuna actually does the same thing. She can use re-raise if she can, like, if she starts here and she can use re-raise, that's what she will do, right? Um, and uh, the AI, okay, actually, you know what? Let me let me just re restart this because uh, to make it a little bit more clear, uh, because I think uh, if I have to move to do it, uh, you, you might get confused. So just sorry, bear with me for one second while I explain this better. I just have to set up an initial positioning and I'll be good to go. Okay, so I need Yuna here. I need Cloud over here, okay? So, when the battle starts, so Yuna's AI is actually very similar to Aerith's. The um, the disadvantage of Aerith is that she has skills that can be used multiple times, like TP skills, and she has a ton of them. Whereas Yuna, she has uh, re-raise. And then, I mean, after that, like Kuraga and full time, uh, full life, they only come into play once the battle starts. But like pre-battle, she has her TMR skill, and then she has re-raise. So the very first turn, she's going to cast re-raise. And this is similar to Aerith. Aerith might cast uh, uh, refocus, right? So assume, you know, they're both doing the same thing. And this is the AI, and it's not me. So the AI is going to do this. It's going to use the skill. And then um, the AI for support type units, they don't move towards the battle. They don't move forward, or they don't move towards the units they will just stand there because if they can cast a skill and they can do it while uh you know being at range they will save ct it's just the way they are programmed so that's what they'll do so she will be here and now cloud is going to go and uh assume that you know his uh assume soldier's honor is turned up so he just has punisher mode so he will cast punisher mode and he can only cast it himself he can't go towards his allies to do that so he will cast it on himself and he has the ai of a, of a dps unit so he will go forward he will attack like this okay so now assume this is Aerith and uh Actually, Aerith can still move three spaces. And okay, so I should assume that she can only move two spaces for whatever reason, right? So she will go here, um, and she will try to cast again, like uh, re-raise, which is the same skill, uh, same uh, distance as refocus. And as you can see, she cannot target Cloud. So if she only has, like, say, if she has three move and Cloud has four move, for example, this is the exact situation that will happen. Cloud will be out of range for her to cast refocus on. So she can't get to him. So what what will she do instead? She's going to cast it on herself because that's what she does. So she will stand right here and she will cast, uh, where is it? Um, I mean you know, a refocus here, yeah, I, I can't target herself like this, but this is what she will do. And once she once she does this and she casts refocus on herself or casts some other buff on herself, she will again stand there and the battle's gonna happen when she's not over in the battle. So this is like as I mentioned before, this is gonna be a huge problem for uh like any kind of auto battles because you really have to tweak her to make sure that um she kind of does what you want her to because this is going to be a problem. So one thing you can, the first thing you can do is obviously you can like turn off these skills. You can turn off like refocus. You can turn off her barrier. Uh, I think when her barrier, she has like two casts, I think. So she might just run her, like it, it's just so wonky, you know, using a unit with so many of these uh, buffs that target other units. Like Yuna is actually pretty good because Yuna, if you can look at her kit, like she has re-raise and then nimble movement. And nimble movement, you can turn off. But if you if you leave it on, what she would do, and she can't like, 
right now she can just like attack right because enemies are in range but assuming she's not like uh, imagine this is like a um like the arena map where you're, you're Aerith or you're Yuna and you don't have anyone to attack, uh, the second turn sh she will just cast Nimble Moon and she will just stand there. She won't go towards the enemies. So most of the time when I'm running Yuna on auto, I turn off Nimble Movement. And similarly, you would have to tweak Aerith to do similar things. Um, so there are a few fixes, especially in like, you know, PvE. Uh, because in PvE, what you can do is you can make both of them uh, stand next to each other. So let me just do that uh, real quick to show how that would change this. Um, and also, you have to make sure that your DPS is going before you. Because if your DPS does not go before you, uh, it, it can create some problems. And I'll, I'll put some shoes on, um, on Cloud, and hopefully he has higher agility. Let's take a look. 88 versus 92. That's not good enough. So let me take this off, put that. Okay, 86 versus 88. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure whoever is going to be the target of Aerith it has to be faster. If you want to use any of her um, uh, her TP skills, like for example, if you want to use Refocus because you think it's still good, you have to make sure that the, uh, the DPS has higher agility, and I'll show you w exactly why in a second. Um, because as you in, in the previous turn, Yuna went first, right? So Yuna cast, or you know, Aerith went first, Aerith cast refocus uh, and stood still, and then Cloud moved, and Cloud moved four steps forward, and Yuna was just out of range to do anything, so she will just stand there and buff herself. Same thing with Aerith. But if you have a, a composition like this, right, and Cloud is going first, so um, in this case, Cloud is going to, you know, again, use whatever skill he has, uh, that and he's gonna move up one, two, three, four. Uh, you know, three or four, four, four uh, steps. It doesn't matter. Hopefully, he actually has four, so he, so that uh, Yuna doesn't need to. Yeah. So he he if he moves three or four uh, movement, it doesn't matter as long as he's not in uh, Aerith's range that she doesn't stand still because that's what you don't want. You don't want her to stand still and use re-raise here, and then the next move, uh, the next turn, uh, Cloud is just out of range, and Yuna or Aerith or whatever, they just get stuck behind. But in this case, Yuna's gonna kind of move with him because to only uh, the only way she can get to Cloud now is to move one step. So she will move and she will cast this, and then on the next turn that these two go, uh, again, Cloud is gonna do something. Assume there are no enemies here, so he just goes that way. And he stands there. So now Yuna's, Yuna goes this way, or Aerith goes this way. And again, now she casts uh, Refocus. So she can keep casting Refocus on Cloud, as long as Cloud uh, has higher agility than her. Uh, but also, you have to kind of make sure now that both of them have the same um, movement, right? Because if Cloud has four move and Aerith has three move, that can also throw it off. But so you see, like you have to make a lot of these sacrifices to get Aerith's AI to work. And this was something that I already knew coming forward. Like as soon as I saw her skill set, I'm like, she's gonna be awesome and fantastic for manual PVP. Like I was so excited to use her and get her. I mean, I did not in my main account, but that's okay. But I was really excited. And I like just looking at her skill set, I was like, she's gonna suck so bad in any kind of auto content because she has too many skills that her AI will prioritize that are non-attack skills. And her AI is just gonna get confused and it's gonna go to do the craziest things. It's going to look like she, her AI is broken. It's not actually broken. It's just that's just the way she was designed. Um, and it's the same, it's ex actually the exact same AI as Yuna. The only difference is that Yuna doesn't have a skill like Refocus that she can keep casting over and over and over. She has uh, Re-Raise. Uh, nibble Movement, if it's giving a problem, you just turn it off. So she just has Re-Raise and her TMR. And again, you can also turn off her TMR. And she's good to go because she has Re-Raise, which is what you really want. And then she has all her attack skills like Holy and Energy Ray. And then she has all her healing, which you also want. So everything she does after the Re-Raise is stuff that you really want her to do. Whereas with um, Aerith, it's... It, it's it's hard because you really want her to be using uh like you know refocus because it it is a really good skill but you just have to like turn off things and you have to like adjust your party that nobody has like higher movement than her or whoever you want her to focus on doesn't have higher movement than her or she might get stuck in the back and all kinds of craziness so um anyway i hope that helped uh, part, part of the battle with, with this game is actually understanding how the AI works. And once you understand it, then you can uh, try to, um, you know, mess with it to make it do what you want it to do.
if it's still unclear and you guys are not sure or I missed something or it still doesn't work even after you try these kind of things or, or whatever, uh, let me know. Um, for me personally, I do have her on my other account on my uh, uh, like my my beginner account that's like three days old uh, and I've been having fun with her but I did notice this issue as well I had to turn off some skills like f uh, especially for the um the trials that's going on right now I have to turn off refocus because if I don't turn off refocus she gets stuck in the back and she just keeps casting it over and over on herself um and so I either have to turn it off or I have to match her movement with somebody else and make somebody else faster than her and again all kinds of things and it's not really worth it right now, or maybe it is. I have to really figure it out to see exactly how I want it. My team is not really that uh, suited to take on the trials boss right now anyway. So I'll figure it out after, but right now I did notice that, okay, maybe it's better if I turn it off or I have to like really fiddle with it to get it to, to work. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have other questions or comments, please leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Anyway, that's it for now. Take care guys, hope to see you next time.